Hi, it's me, Dr. Prasad Purkilam. I'm handling classes for coordination chemistry, coordination chemistry class number one. So that is on based on magnetochemistry, magnetic uh, properties of coordination compounds. Compounds. So the uh, my class goes like this: introduction to uh, coordination chemistry, or coordination compounds, types of magnetic behavior, orbital contribution to magnetic momentum, spin orbit coupling, spin crossover system. Goya Solas uh, Faraday's method of uh, determining magnetic susceptibility, diamagnetic corrections, ferro and antiferromagnetic coupling, super paramagnetism, high spin equilibria or high and low spin equilibria, magnetic properties of lanthanides and actinides, heavy metals, infrared spectra of metal complexes, group frequency concept, changes in ligand vibrations based on the metal uh, uh, ligand uh, vibrations. Or based on metal uh, vibrations, IS spectra of uh, metal carbonyls, uh, ESR spectra of uh, copper complexes, MOSBI spectra of ion complexes. So these topics will be covered under uh, magnetochemistry of uh, coordination chemistry. Okay, even NMR spectra of complexes also included. So introduction, introduction to uh, complexes or co uh, coordination complexes. We know what are coordination complexes. It consists of a uh, metal atom or metal ion connected to a ligand. Okay, and if I take the examples, uh, the formula, name, uh, coordination number, and oxidation number. If you take, uh, you already studied these basics in your uh, lower level classes. Okay, so if you take a, a first example, that is CO NH3 six uh, six times uh, Cl3. That is hexamine cobalt chloride. Okay, hexamine cobalt uh, three chloride. Coordination number it is six. So that is means we have six ligands here. Therefore, the coordination number the central metal atom is connected to six ligands. Therefore, we call it as how the coordinated. Okay, how many um, attached uh, molecules or group of molecules are present near to that. So we call it as coordination number in co uh, uh, coordination chemistry. And the oxidation number of the central metal atom. It is mentioned in the name itself. That is three plus three. Next example, we'll take so many examples. Uh, Cu two FeCN six. That is uh, copper hexacyanoferrate. Its coordination number is six and oxidation number is two. And more example. Pt platinum NH three six Cl four. Its name is hexamine platinum four chloride. Okay, its coordination number is six. Oxidation number is four. That is oxidation number of a platinum. Here it is four that you can calculate. Next molecule or next formula given: Cu NH three four times H two O two times Cl two. Okay, so this complex its name is uh, tetramine diaqua copper two chloride. Coordination number is six. Oxidation number is plus two. One more example: CrCO six. That is carbonyl. Uh, ligand is CO carbonyl ligand chromium hexa uh, carbonyl chromium and it is neutral charge zero represents that there is no charge on the uh, on that uh, coordination complex coordination number is six and oxidation number is zero K three CO F six uh, is potassium hexa fluoro cobaltate three coordination number of uh, that uh, complex it is six and oxidation number of uh, cobalt it is plus three. One more NiH two O six six times Cl two, that is hexaqua nickel chloride. Here also coordination number is six, oxidation number is plus two. One more example, Cr NH three five and NH three five times NO two. Okay, two ligands are there, NH three and NO two. So it is uh, pentamine nitro chromium two uh, chromium three ion. Its uh, coordination number is six. Oxidation number is plus three. Another example: CO EN twice Br two twice SO four. That is uh, dibromo bisethylene diamine cobalt three sulfate. Coordination number is six. Oxidation number is plus three. One more: uh, potassium um, K PT NS three Cl five. It is potassium amine pentachloro platinate. Four. Coordination number is six. Oxidation number is plus four. KAuCl4. So here onwards, uh, coordination number is four. So Cl4 only. The central metal atom is connected to four ligands only. Name potassium. 
tetra chloro or eight three coefficient number is four oxidation number of uh, gold here uh, au here is plus three platinum en twice co3 his uh, name is this ethylene diamine platinum to carbonate coordination number is four and oxidation number is plus two bafe br4 twice there is barium tetra bromo ferrite three coordination number here is four oxidation number is plus three cu cn four times three minus it's an ion ionic form it is given so tetra cyano cuprate one ion so here coordination number is four and oxidation number is plus one. Ag and F3 twice Cl. That is uh, diamine silver chloride. Coordination number is two. Oxidation number is plus one. So these are the uh, common examples of uh, some of the coordination complexes with uh, coordination number six, four, and two as an example. It is given and there are possible the oxidation state uh, which is calculated also mentioned in the table so that's just introduction of uh, the coordination complexes if you see the structure of complexes uh, based on the number of ligands and based on the arrangement of ligands there are so many structural geometries are possible some of the um, important structures that we uh, discuss in our regular coordination chemistry classes are the square planar tetrahedral as well as octahedral other than that uh, so many other structures are also possible so we'll discuss one we'll see one by one coordination number based on coordination number so if coordination number is two the molecular geometry will be linear example ag and s3 twice plus if coordination number is three then it will be the molecular geometry of the complex will become trigonal planar so example cu cn thrice uh, two minus if coordination number is four two types of molecular geometry is possible First one that is tetrahedral. Tetrahedral means in that uh, the metal which is taken if it's a d orbital, if the d orbitals the outermost d orbital if it has zero uh, electronic configuration, no electrons, or it has full electrons that is d10. The electronic configuration we write if the d is filled, then such a coordination complex with the coordination number four will form uh, the tetrahedral molecular geometry. Say example NiCO. Four. The second possibility of uh, coordination number four, that is square planar. If the system, okay, I mentioned the D8 system or D0 system or D10 system that I'll explain in coming classes. So D8 system, okay. So here only you can explain it. D8 system is the outer uh, orbital of that uh, central metal atom, uh, its ion. It is in D8 uh, electronic configuration. Then such a uh, uh, complexes with the coordination number four will become square planar structure. Say example NiCl4 two minus. If coordination number is five, then also two more uh, molecular geometry is possible. Trigonal bipyramidal structure. Example CoCl5 two minus, as well as square pyramidal structure that is VCN4 two minus. So if coordination number is six, then the molecular geometry will be octahedral in general cases. Example CO CL6 3 minus. If coordination number is 7, it becomes pentagonal bipyramidal structure. Example zirconium uh, uh, F7 uh, 3 minus. If coordination number is 8, two more molecular geometry is possible that is square antiprism with RE of 8 2 minus, RE means rhenium. And another that is dodecahedron, dodecahedron with molybdenum CN 8 4 minus. If coordination number is 9 and above, then such uh, complexes with more than 9 uh, are very complicated structures. So, for uh, not giving any particular name for that. So, they are more complicated structures. One of the best examples recently uh, um, obtained an uh, example for that is REH9 2 minus. So, this is about uh, the introduction uh, of uh, com coordination complexes. The next class it will be the introduction to the transition metals so we know transition metals are what is what are transition metals just their uh, name their uh, molecular uh, electronic configuration and the possible oxidation states are very important towards the magnetic uh, explanation to give the magnetic properties of coordination complexes then we'll take the ligands ligands the important ligands and their uh, strength uh, how it support the uh, magnetic property of the 
coordination complexes that will be explained in the coming classes so this is for uh, the first uh, first class that is introduction to uh, complex so we'll see the next class that is on uh, transition metal uh, d block elements as well as f block elements